helmet is made from petroleum. Hello, my name is Alan Berry and I'm the Managing Director at Novozymes in Davis, California. And today we're here in Roseville, California to visit the Ericart family who has kindly agreed to open their home to us so that we can come in and see in a typical American household how many products are made from petroleum or crude oil. Let's go meet the Ericarts. Well, I have a question for you. Do you have any idea how many of the things in your house are made from petroleum? I say trillion. It's true that many of the products in our houses are made from petroleum. And so many, in fact, to bring them all outside, we had to hire this professional moving crew. So let's get to work. The coating on the table. The, the finish on the table is a petroleum derived product. Um, what we're standing on, the carpeting, the uh, synthetic fibers that are used to make commercial carpeting are derived from petroleum. So what we've done here is we've brought part of the Ericart family's belongings and placed them in front of the house. Just to give an idea of the number of products in our daily lives are derived from petroleum. Now this represents just a fraction of what was inside the house. But did you know that some of these products can actually be produced from renewable resources instead of petroleum? One example is a molecule called acrylic acid. Acrylic acid is used industrially to make coatings and adhesives. For example, this acrylic latex paint. What I can see is your couch, both the textiles, the fabrics that are made uh, for the couch, as well as the dyes that are used to color the, the fabrics. Another example is called butane diol. Butane diol is a, is a molecule that is used in the production of elastic polymers that's used in, for example, these biking shorts and other sports apparel. games, the boxes, so that the inks and the colorings that are in the boxes, and then the pieces and parts of the games themselves are derived from petroleum. And last but not least, even your teddy bear. Everything you can see here that's not metal or wood is derived from petroleum. Two more examples are the plastics polyethylene and polypropylene. Kids toys, the watering can, a plastic slide, patio furniture of the lawn furniture, these lawn umbrellas, all of these pool toys. We want to say thank you to the Ericart family for opening their home to us and for letting us tell our story. Bye bye. Where'd the movers go? Where did the movers go? <laughs> <laughs>